In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the rules for adding integers and subtracting the integers with, um, using a number line. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to look at first at the rules for adding integers. So on your handout, I'd like for you to copy down the four rules for adding integers. Okay, you can pause the video to uh, have time enough to write these down. So if you have a positive plus a positive, same sign, sum. Two negative, a negative plus a negative, same sign, sum again. And three positive plus a negative, those are different signs, difference. And negative plus a positive, different signs, difference as well. Okay? We're going to practice these skills in the next four practice problems. Okay, so if you need more time, pause the video. Number one, we're looking at 35 plus 27 equals, okay? Now, we have to figure out what rule are we going to apply here. This is the same sign sum rule. This is 35 plus 27, just like we've always done, okay? Because it's just two positive numbers. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we're going to take 35 plus 27. 5 plus 7, 12, carrier 1. 5 or 1 and 3 make uh, 4 and 2 is 62. So our answer is 62 for that. Okay. Let's take a look at number um, 2 where we have some negatives worked in. Okay. Again, we check the signs. Okay. And these two are negative. So this falls under the same sign sum part. Okay. What I'd like you to do. Okay, we have a negative plus a negative, so our answer, obviously, is going to be a negative number. So go ahead and put in your sign and your answer. And then we're going to do same sign sum, so we're going to do 46 plus 61. Well, 6 and 1 is 7, carrier 1, 1 and 4 is 5, and 6 is 11. So it's 117, and we need a negative, so it's going to be negative 117. Okay. Let's take a look at number three using the rules again. In this problem, we have different signs. So this is going to be a different sign difference problem. Well, we have to figure out what sign is going to go in the problem. Think of it this way. We're doing modeling. Do we have more positive tiles or more negative tiles? Well, we have 89 positive tiles and we have 35 negative tiles. So we have more positives. We don't have to write the positive sign on our answer. So what we're going to do is just put our positive sign up here above the problem, not with our answer, though. Okay, so we know that the answer here is going to be positive. And it's a different sign, different difference problem. So we're going to set it up as a subtraction problem. Okay, there's two ways that we can do it. We can do 89 minus 35, or we can do 35 minus 89. Which way looks like the correct setup? Okay, you're right. The first way does. So we'll cross that one off. Okay, we, if we take a uh, take the bigger number and subtract the smaller number. Nine minus five is four. Eight minus three is five. So our answer is fifty-four. And you know it's positive because we put that positive sign up um, in our problem. Okay, and let's take a look here at number four. Okay, again, different signs, difference. Okay, we've got a positive, a negative, and then we have a positive. Different signs, difference. Okay, do we have more negatives or more positives? Well, in this problem, we have 75 negatives, 45 positives, right? So we have more negatives, so we're going to put that negative sign in our problem, in our answer. Okay, so we're going to put it out over here by the equal sign. Different signs difference, so we're going to do 75 minus 45. 5 take away 5 is 0. 7 take away 4 is 30. So our answer is negative 30. Okay? And now, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and complete the practice problems below. Now, the practice problems are a little more challenging because there are some um, three-digit numbers and some four-digit numbers down there. But the process is the same. Um, using same sign sum, different signs, difference. When you're done with the practice, unpause the video, 
and go ahead and check your work. Okay, now since the video is playing, I assume that you completed the practice, and here are the answers to those practice problems. Okay. Take a minute to check the check your work. Okay, if you need more time, just pause the video and you can um, check your work. Now, for our second part, we're going to look at subtracting integers using a number line. So now we're going to move on to subtraction. But it's related real closely to what we're doing in class and what we've done in previous videos with the addition. So let's get started with these problems. Subtract them to integers using a number line. To start with, at the bottom of your handouts, bottom right corner of your handout, you have a little arrow. It looks like the one right here. Okay, That little arrow, go ahead and cut it off of your sheet because we're going to use that, excuse me, that arrow on, on solving our problems on the number line. So take a minute, go ahead and do that. Okay? Once you have that done, so let's look here at um, a couple rules for subtracting integers. Take a minute to copy down these rules. First rule is um, you start at zero. These are just rules for subtracting integers on a number line. You start at zero on a number line. Then you go to the go to the first number, always facing the positive numbers. And I'll explain that here with the arrows. And then three, um, then every negative sign you see, you will flip the arrow. So every negative sign you will flip the arrow. And then four, you use the adding integer rules, rules that we just went over. You're going to use those then in um, in our uh, subtraction problems. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We probably won't get to rule number four today with this video because everything we're going to do is going to be on the number line. Okay, so let's move that down a little bit. Okay, so we have negative five minus four. Okay, notice how my arrow here is facing the positive numbers. That's what this means, face the positive numbers. The arrow is going towards the not positive numbers. Okay, and what we're going to do is go ahead and move this out to we, uh, excuse me, back here. Okay, still facing the negative numbers. We're going to move it back to where we have negative 5. Okay, we're going to place it there in the number line. Okay, and then it's minus 4. For every negative sign after the first number, we flip it. We flip the arrow. So what we're going to do is go in here, and we're going to flip the arrow. So I'm going to flip it. Maybe. Don't want to flip there. Okay, there we got flipped. Okay, uh, a second here. Okay, so now we're at negative five. We flipped, and then uh, it says four. So what we're going to do now is move four places to the right. Okay. Uh, excuse me, four more places to the left. I apologize. So we're going to go one, two, three. Four. So our answer is negative 9. Okay, so negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Let's look at another problem. Okay, in this model we're looking at negative 8 minus 3. So go ahead, put your arrow on the number line, and we're going to go back here to neg negative 8. That's where we're going to start. Okay. And then we're going to flip our problem. We're going to flip our, our um, arrow because we have a negative sign. When we see a negative sign after the first number, we flip our, our flip our arrow. So we're going to flip this. Hopefully I'll do a better job this time. Flip it. Okay. And we stay at negative 9. Or I'm sorry, negative 8. Stay at negative 8. And we're going to go three places. So now we're going to go three more places. One, two, and then three. And we're going to be at what number here? We're going to be at negative 11. So negative 8 minus 3 is equal to negative 11. Number three. At number three, we have 4 minus negative 12. We start out facing the positive directions, the numbers, positive numbers, and we're going to go to 4. 
Now, we see a negative sign, so we're going to flip it. So flip, okay, and we're at 4, and then, so we flipped it for this negative sign. Now we also have to flip it back because of this negative sign. So we're going to flip it again. Okay, we're at negative 4 still. And then, once we do all of our flipping, because of negative signs, now we're going to go 12 places. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we got to go 12 more. So if we're at 10 with 6, or excuse me, we got to go 6 more. So we're going to end up with, yes, you're right, 16. So we're going to end up at 16. Okay? Questions on that? Okay. The next one, number four. Okay. We'll go back to negative three, facing the positive numbers. So we always face the positive numbers. With, okay. And then we go to our first number, so negative three. So move your arrow back to negative three. And then we see a negative sign. So yes, we have to flip it. So let's go ahead and flip it. Okay. Still at negative three. And then we're going to flip it again. We flipped it for this negative sign. We've got to flip it again for this negative sign. So we're going to flip it again. Okay, still at negative 3. And then we're going to go 5 places to our right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, I think I'm going to let's go back here and try it again. So we're at negative 3, and then we're going to go 5 places to our right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we are. Okay. So negative 3 minus negative 5 is 2. Okay, so we're going to put in equals 2. Now, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause the video and you can use one of the other number lines up there, okay, or you can draw your own number line on the back. And I want you to answer 5 through 8, okay. I'll give you a couple minutes to do that, okay. And then once you're done, pause, unpause the video, and you can check your answers. Assume that since you're uh, unpause the video, you're ready to check your answers. So here are your answers. Okay? Well, I hope you did well with these. Okay, um, if you need to rewatch the video to pick up some of those um, skills again, go ahead and do that. We will be practicing this a little bit in class, um, and we'll be doing it with um, class and individual practice. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye.